<laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep Sherry. Nick of the cheapest one you have. Rap this will do. It's pretty dance. My sherry? Just wait, he's making it. Morning. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Come taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you'll eat him! Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sherry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh, mean man! Enough! Uh, Cut that out! No fair! Bertram got a whoops in you. Mister. You're in a lot of trouble, <gasps> young man! Ouchie. What are you waiting for? Slug him! Hey, Bertram. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Good looking. You feel like having. Okay, boy.
crazy now. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. If you say so. Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. What the hell? We're gone. She just wants to speak to you. Well, it ain't solving anything. Hey, will you talk? I'm going in alone! Obscura! You're starting to irritate. What the hell are you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> That's a neat trick. It's take both. Now where you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Why well, you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah. So Damn long, it. dummy. Where are you? You really? little baby. <laughs> Too bad about that train. This Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> no. oh, shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling oh. rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put him up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. 
Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, don't you ever run off on us like that again! Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. Uh, help them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show. <laughs> All right. you welcome welcome everyone i am your host aldridge t abington 
Thank you. Mate! Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. <laughs> During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Miss Marjorie's medical miracles! Bertram the Pinheaded Giant! He ain't even as smart as he looks. <laughs> but what he lacks in brain, he makes up for in all. All right. Our half-witted Hercules is as strong as a bull. Ooh. You, sir, would you assist? Me? Hell yeah! Come on up! Oh, yeah! Come yeah, on get out of here! Let's see it! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you look like a strapping young lad. I want you to hit him. Right here, right in the bread basket. Go on, give him a real big suck. I don't know. Oh, the only do danger it. is breaking your arm. What are you afraid of? Ah, come, come on! on. Do, it, do it, do it! All right. All right. <laughs> Hey, sometimes he gets carried away. What kind of a two-bit show is this? You're freak near the killing me. Magnificent! And I have tamed the beast! Drop him! Hey, 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 hey. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, I, Magnifico the Magnificent, am a master of apparition! Oh, oh my god! And dissipation! And even the art of <laughs> transfiguration. Wow. <laughs> All right. Woo I have mastered hypnosis, telekinesis, telepathy, and escapology. And now for my next feat. I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her for this Robio! Doing a nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! You're not like that, you're not! I give up! Amateurs! <laughs> Uh, 
Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, yeah! I shaved him from head to toe. Yeah. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> well, I assure you, right. he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I can't wait. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at rise. my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, come on! Oh my god! Sweet What's Jesus. Oh my god. Yeah. This is oh, That this always scares me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Wow. What is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival ruse. These bullets are 100% real. Wow. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. You hear that? All right, that's fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you 
I am the greatest entertainer to ever live, and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? Hey, Kay. Whoa, gonna fight is too much. This is incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino!
Oh, wonderful. Oh, incredible. It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies. She'd turn them into bacon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. He liked that joke. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland, where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky. Thanks for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that the wires might get crossed and it will separate me from She is a siren, singing from the rocks as men bash into them, to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night, dream well, and come back soon.
Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this with dancing girls.